Eye sizes for public schools could change in Tennessee soon. It could be up to local school districts to choose how many kids would be allowed in each class. Our Ellie Bird digs into what this could look like for your kids' classrooms. Putting the control of class sizes in the hands of local school districts rather than the Tennessee Department of Education. That's what's being proposed in a new bill Representative Deborah Moody and Senator John Lundberg are working together on. Lundberg gave us a statement a few weeks ago saying, Every school district is different. This bill will give LEAs the power to make class size determinations based on what will work best for the students and teachers in their district. However, Representative Gloria Johnson says the state should be working to make classes smaller instead. Certain classes and things like that that can be larger, but if you're wanting everyone to succeed, then everyone needs the time and attention from the teacher, and they're not going to get it in a classroom the size of 50. Right now, state law requires K through third grades average class size to be 20 students, max of 25. Fourth through sixth grades average 25 and the max is 30. And for 7th through 12th grade, average is 30 and the max is 35. Some parents, like Jennifer Holder, believe this is already too many students for just one teacher. We're not setting them up for success. We're setting them up for failure in this, in this fashion because we don't, they don't have the tools and support they need to handle the classroom sizes that we have, more or less adding more students to each classroom. Each district would decide the number of students allowed in a class. The only stipulation being the class sizes must comply with all state and local building requirements, as well as the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. Johnson is worried this is going to hurt rural schools the most. The counties that struggle to meet their budgets anyway that feel like, well, we don't want to cut and, and add, add to the class sizes, but because of our budget, we're going to have to. The bill would also let schools put different grade level students in classrooms together. In Knoxville, Ellie Bird, WVLT News. If it's passed, the law would take effect this July. That's right before the start of next school year.